Hey folks, Elmer Fudd here. This is uh, section 6-1, Angles and Radian Measures. Now it's continued because I had students uh, uh, read the first couple of pages after they took a test on chapter 5. That was their homework. And the main part was changing degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180, and changing radians to degrees, you multiply 180 over pi. So let's try some of that here. So change 115 to radians. So I'm going to multiply that by pi over 180. 5 goes into both of those, so you should get 23 pi over 36. Okay, change this to degrees. So I'm going to multiply this by um, uh, 180 over pi, and then um, uh, I get negative 157.5 degrees. Okay, uh, okay. So the unit circle uh, in radians. Okay, remember from geometry how the circumference was 2 pi. Well, that's what we're doing in radians. It's in terms of pi. So all the way around the circle is 2 pi. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, if this is 2 pi all the way around the circle, then halfway around is going to be pi, and then half of that is going to be pi over 2. And from uh, pi to 2 pi, this bottom half is going to be 3 pi over 2. So check this out. This is 0, this is 1 pi over 2, this is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, which is 2 pi. All right, now what I'm going to do is divide this into the top half into 12s. So we're only concerned with these three guys right here, but I'm going to put a little tick mark right here and right here and, and right there and all those missing spots and make them even tick marks. And it's going to divide the top half into 12 and the bottom half into 12 right there. And so if, if the whole way around from, I'm sorry, if from here all the way around to here is 1 pi, then this is going to be 1 pi 12. This is going to be 2 pi 12, which is pi over 6. Three, uh, this is going to be 3 pi 12s, uh, which is pi over 4. 4 pi 12s, which is pi over 3. So I'm going to go ahead and put those values in there right there. Okay, this is 5 pi over 12. This is 6 pi over 12, which is pi over tw uh, 2. 7 pi over 12. 8 pi over 12, which is uh, 2 pi over 3. 9 pi over 12, which is 3 pi over 4. 10 pi over 12, which is uh, 5 pi over 6. 11 pi over 12. 12 pi over 12, which is pi. Okay, so I keep going around. This would be 13 pi over 12, 14 pi over 12, which is uh, 7 pi over 6. And then keep going around, and I get, I get those values right there. Okay, we're just concerned with these ones right here, because pi over 6 is my 30-degree angle. Pi over 4 is my 45-degree angle, and pi over 3 is my 60-degree angle. All right, now, uh, if you haven't memorized these, I'm going to try and teach you a gimmick right here. Um, uh, but let's, let's just take a look. In terms of pi, notice all the denominators. As I go away from the x-axis, the denominators go 6, 4, 3. Look, from the x-axis, it goes, the denominator goes 6, 4, 3. As the x-axis, the denominator goes 6 to 4 to 3. 6, 4, 3. Okay, and then what I, else what I want you to recognize is these just are just pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. These, the numerators, are 1 less than the denominator. So if that's 6, this is going to be 5, 5 pi over 6. If that's 4, this is 1 less, so 3 pi over 4, 2 pi over 3. This one's always 1 more. So if that's 6, this is going to be 7 pi over 6. See how the numerators are always 1 more? Over here, the numerators are always 1 less than twice. So double 6 is 12, 1 less than that is 11. Double 4 is 8, 1 less than that is uh, 7. Double that is 6, one less than that is 5. Okay, so those are just gimmicks on how to remember how the, the radians go around the circle. Okay, okay. now I asked you to memorize these, and pro I bet you half of you guys didn't. If you're my students, I, a, good, a good at least 50% of you guys hadn't memorized these. Okay, uh, and I'm going to label these as cosine, sine, tangent. Notice C comes before S, comes before T in the alphabet. So cosine, sine, tangent are in alphabetical order. Just like x, comma, y in, in algebra 2, if you did comma z, a triplet, uh, they would be in alphabetical order, x, y, z. All ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order. C comes before s, comes before t. So this is my cosine, sine, tangent. Cosine, sine, tangent. Cosine, sine, tangent. Okay, over here... Um, uh, remember, only sine was positive over here. Here, all of them are positive. Sine's positive, tangent's positive, cosine's positive. Remember, A, S, um, T, C. All students take calculus. Remember that? And, there, and this side is going to be the same as this side, except just the signs are positive right there. So here we go. There's that one right there. Except They're the same, except only the signs, the middle ones, are positive right here. 
Okay, down here, this is going to be the same as this. It's going to be a reflection of that, except only the tangents are positive. Okay, over here, only the cosines are positive. Okay, all right. So now, what I want you to recognize is, is uh, okay. First of all, the denominators go six four three, six four three, six four three, six four three for the pies. Okay, uh, these are just pies. One less, one more, one less than twice that. Now, what I want you to see now, you guys, is look at your cosines. As you go away from the the x-axis, the cosines, the tops go three, two, one. Look, the top goes three, two, one for the cosines. Three, two, one for the cosines. As I go away from the x-axis, here's the x-axis. As I move away from it, the cosines go three, two, one. The sines go one, two, three. Watch one. 2, 3, except they're square root of 2, square root of 3, and this is like the square root of 1, which is 1, okay? And tangents go 1 third, 1, 3, 1 third, 1, 3, except the 3's have square roots in them right there. Okay, note, you guys, 1 over square root of 3 is actually root 3 over 3, but I like thinking of it, because for me it's easier to remember the 1 third, 1, 3, except this is going to be with a root 3 and a root 3, so 1 over root 3 and, and root 3, okay? So don't forget also, you guys, uh, all students take calculus, so all are positive, just the sines are positive, tangents are positives, and the cosines are positives, okay? Cosine going away from the x-axis goes 3, 2, 1, the tops. The sines goes 1, 2, 3, except they're all square roots, except the square root of 1 is 1, so I don't need to have the, the radical over the 1 right there. And tangents go 1 third, 1, 3, and the 1 over root 3 is the same as root 3 over 3. Okay, those are gimmicks how I remember that. So here, evaluate this. All right, so uh, three, two, I'm sorry, six, four, three, the denominators go. So this is, um, uh, and this is one more. So this tells me it's in quadrant three. So cosine is negative in quadrant three. So um, uh, cosine goes uh, three, two, one. So this is going to be the one part. So it's going to be a negative one half. Okay. Okay, tangent of 25 power over six is the same as uh, 24 power over six plus one pi over six. And 24 pi over six is four pi over six. 4 pi, you guys, is two complete revolutions. So I can just drop off the two complete revolutions and just start with this one. So it's the same as the tangent of pi over 6. Okay, tangent goes 1 third, 1 3. So this is going to be the 1 third part, which is 1 over root 3, which is root 3 over 3. Okay? Okay, the length of an arc S that has central angle theta with radius r uh, is uh, r times theta except theta has to be in radians. So if they give it to you in degrees, then you got to convert it to uh, radians. So given the central angle, find the length of the intercepted arc if the circle has radius 5 centimeters. Okay, Okay. the first one is 128 degrees. i got to convert that to radians. So 128 times pi over 80, 180, it gives me 32 pi uh, over 45. So that's this right here. This is my angle right there. So that goes right there. My radius goes right there. So my arc length is going to be 5 times that. So 5 uh, times that, the 5 goes into 45 9 times right there, so I get 32 pi over 9. Okay, easy, huh? Okay, this one, 2 pi over 3. This is already in, in radians, so I just got to multiply that by the radius times 5, so I get uh, 10 pi over 3. This one I have to convert to radians, so that converts to 5 pi over 4. Then I multiply that by 5, 25 pi over 4. Okay, the area of a sector of a circle with radius r and central angle is... 1 half times your radius squared times your central angle. Okay, if, and if they give it to you in degrees, i got to change it to radians. Okay, so 90 degrees is the same as pi over 2, you guys. So i got to multiply. Uh, so my radius goes right here. So radius squared, this 1 half goes here, and then pi over 2. So I get 484 pi over 4, which is 121 pi. Okay, now this one's in decimal, so I'm going to have the answer in decimal. So I'm even going to convert uh, pi to 3.14. All right, so I got to convert 82 degrees to radians. So 82 degrees becomes uh, 41 pi over 90. All right, and then I'm going to put in um, uh, 7.3 right here, 7.3 squared times 41 pi times 90, and then divide it by 2. Change it all to decimal, and you should get 38.1, whatever, units squared. Okay, this one, again, this is in decimal, so the radius goes right here, 12.5 squared. The angle 4 pi over 7, and then you just take that and divide it by 2. That's what the 1 half is right there, and you get a 140.2. Okay, whoops, and that's it, you guys.